Yo, what's up guys? Finally, we are at Slab City, one of the major places I've always wanted to see in Cali. And this is the last free place. If you guys know what Slab City is, you will see what it is all about today. What's up guys? Exploring with John. We are here to explore the small town called Slab City. It's a small town set away from govern the governed society itself, set away from everything else. It's actually made from the barracks. It's actually made from the concrete barracks of Camp Dunlap from World War II. This place only contains a population of only 150 people who actually live here all year round. So I'm ready to see what kind of history we could come across for this place. I mean, so far it shows like a lot of like the Holy Bible and love and Jesus and everything. So I'm ready, I'm curious, I'm ready to see this. So the thing you can tell about this place is that Leonardo Knight put a lot of his work, his passion to creating this entire mountain for everybody to come here and take pictures and make memories at and show love and all of that. You can tell that he was really passionate about what he was doing. I mean, look at all this like hard work he put into this. It's honestly amazing. I am so glad to be staying here right now seeing the history that he actually made here for us. The thing about this is that they did say you should really bring water. It's gonna be 120 degrees out here and they weren't joking. I'm like sweating like crazy so I apologize about that guys. This is honestly like mind struck to me. It's amazing. Like considering that he put all this effort and work into it because he was so passionate about God and he really wanted to express it. It's amazing. And considering the fact that even after the few years that he's been dead for now, people still kind of put a lot of work, donate to this place. So definitely put a donation to this place if you want to see this place still sitting around and remaining because it takes a lot of hard work to put it together. Extremely because of the hard climate changes that really happy. So let's just hope this place still stays together within the few years that it still sits there for. Like as you guys can see, these trees aren't, aren't even actual trees. They're actually like an enchanted like type of place. Like I mean, it's not even made of real wood. It's all clay. It's so crazy how the creativity is. This is really just the form of art of how he like really creative it create from his mind pieced everything together creativity is key like imagine just like creating this from your own mind not much people would even think about it and not much people would even strike their mind but Leonard actually really like hit this with a definite hit. It's so unfortunate that Leonard has actually passed away in 2014. Like times like this, I actually wish I could talk to him and see like what was going through his mind when he was making this and everything. Like just like hear what his creative thoughts were. It's just so unfortunate to see him pass away. But it's amazing how how long this place has been standing for, how much work everybody's been putting into making this place stand strong. That's the reality of everything. So in case you guys were wondering, all the hay down here, it's actually like pieces of what they used to make this place. I mean, it's made of like mud, clay, hay, all those miscellaneous things. You can definitely tell he put a lot of hard work into doing this. It's a lot, it's definitely with his passion of what he was trying to show. It's amazing to be here. Definitely creativity is everything. Passion, it's creativity is anything. This is all art and this is all like created from the mind. It's a way to express himself. And this is a way to express himself for God and everything. It's amazing. The hard work, that's really what sticks out to me, is the hard work, the passion he put into this. It's like me doing what I'm doing right now, just sticking to it and like aiming to express my art of showing what I'm trying to show you guys on my videos. It's amazing. God. Take a look at everything, everything all around it. This entire place is just surrounded by the desert, and the far desert land of Slab City. It's crazy. It was amazing to see Leonard's expression of trying to express to us his love for Jesus, his, his God, his passion for his religion, and everything. It's amazing. It's amazing how this form of art was built and everything. So, 
we're gonna be saying goodbye to Salvation Mountain. We have a whole mile down there to East Jesus, I guess. It's like somewhere else in Slab City, but it's amazing to see this type of art just sitting here, still remaining. Keep it strong, guys. Oh my God. Welcome to East Jesus, guys. Welcome. Let's step inside. exploring crew we have all the same beliefs same things that we all believe in and the thing is we disagree with society kind of like tries to mind control you to do like we don't believe in a lot of things that pretty much like the path that society is kind of leaving for us we try to go our own ways and this is why we do what we do exploring and being we're like rebels of this world right now just and just doing what we believe is right the television gives you like the wrong answers of like how like the countries, certain countries hate you, certain countries this, putting words into people's mouth, making people believe these wrong things, just all in the news. It's all bad. It's all terrible things. And the reality of it is, is if you just go there and just talk to one person, they could be like the nicest person you met. The reality of TV is complete bullshit. And this is who we are. We're just sticking out, being, believing what we're doing is right. Just look at all the motherboards and everything just implanted into this vehicle. It makes it like a back to the future type of mobile or something like I feel like I could take this back to the future like from the show even look at the reptile like <laughs> it's made out of trash bags I feel like all trash bags and it all the trash bags came together and made this huge reptile that someone made it's so crazy guys just look at the doll hanging from the reptile's mouth too this is so crazy I'm just trying to take in everything that I'm seeing right now like all oh, this is such unique art it's amazing. Slap City has so much random, unique things to offer. If you guys ever want to find this place, it's located right in Cali next to the Arizona border. So crazy. Like this place has so much unique things to offer. I mean, look at this. Just legs come out of this car, all the miscellaneous like flowers on it. It just has something to resemble. I can't really explain exactly what they're trying to resemble in each of these, but there is something. It's so cool. This is like the most retro things can get. I mean, just check out this guy. This is so sick. It's like a futurized like type of robot just chilling. You know, it's so cool. Art is a really big form of expression. It really like you express in your own way. Everybody has their own creative thoughts. You can't really judge people by the way they do art because it's their thoughts, their expression for all of this. I mean, like, look at this. It's such unique stuff. It's like a robotic, like, form of like a television guy like gonna shoot you I don't know because that's they have a different thought or a different aspect of how they look at things versus us of, as how we see these things everyone has a different opinion on everything this has to be one of my favorite signs I've ever seen terrible psychiatric advice inside 25 cents isn't that really funny i love all these vehicles and all these things i mean look at this pirate ships and all of that and all of that so freaking cool this is awesome wow guys i feel like the word cool amazing awesome all of that's really sticking out to me those are like the main words i use i mean it's like my new terms and vocabulary it's kind of bad but I mean, I just can't describe these things more and better than that. East Jesus was just a phenomenal, amazing place to see. Definitely worth checking out because around the California area, we're heading on, gonna go check out this place called The Range and all these other things around, this, around Slab City. This place is so unique in its own way. It's amazing to check out. I don't really know much about what's, what's over here, but it's very interesting. The range, what can this be all about? I guess things are kind of clicking together now. So all these seats sitting here, this is for like a show, like somebody playing on a show or something. They call it the range and this is where you do all your, you know, your creative like talents and showcase it off. But I'm, I'm sure it's probably some really like unique, different type of art styles and all that. Pretty crazy. And I love all these seats that sit here for all the people and all the audience ready to watch the show. 
I mean, it's pretty interesting considering that everything is all man-made. Like, people just threw things together and now this is what they do. It's all couches just sitting here rather than like an actual auditorium, things like that. I mean, it's so unique, so different. This is what I love about this right now. So what, what I do love what I do love is the fact that they even have a spot where you can showcase your talent, all your things. I mean, all of us, the entire crew, we all have talent. We all dance. We all break dance. We all do these things. We put on shows for active shows for people and all of that. And this is really what this is for. Just showcasing off your talent right for the audience, whoever sits there. I wonder if they actually ever have like a small town gathering of all the people that come together right here. These are random Polaroids of random people who came by here and took shots. And it still sits there. I think that's pretty cool. You can definitely tell these aren't people, actual locals that live here. I think these are actual just random tourists who came around this area. like a drone before that's what that thing is oh, yeah, flying up there yeah i'm sure they're yeah, everywhere quite a few people bringing them out here yeah <laughs> so how long have you been living here for in oh. slab city well, i've been here about 18 years 18 18 years what's your favorite thing with slab city just living here well it's kind of a refuge you know yeah that's how long yeah you end up living here from getting thrown out of somewhere else you know <laughs> gotta get away from everything else like the media yeah. all of that's just so shit man you know and like i've been doing this for 14 years now 14 years and and uh i've made a place for, my, for myself in the in the community you know and yeah you love the community that they have well, here right well you try to do better every time but yeah <laughs> definitely <laughs> got a non-profit corporation going and we're Hoping to end up owning the property so that we can keep it available for people to, to come by and check it out. Here. Right? Like, well, yeah. you understand there's even this time of year, there's at least 100 people mm -hmm. who anywhere else you'd call them homeless. They may be living in a shack or a, yeah. or a tent, but yeah. they're, that, that's their tent, right? That's their home. That's and and uh, so nobody's really feeling homeless here. Right, that's great. It's not like yeah. you're, and and it. You feel like you don't you're part get of the, the you don't get the persecution you get. Yes. From being in San Diego or even El Centro. So true. It's if crazy. You're, if you're on the street, you know. Yeah, that's what I love about this. Do you feel like everyone here is is part of the community versus how like San Diego to treat the homeless and all of that? Well, I was one of them. That's how I got here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's great. That's that's amazing to know. What's your name, by the way? I'm Builder Bill. Builder Bill? Yeah. So Builder Bill's gonna kind of like show me around this place. I mean, this is, seems like your mechanic area where you. Oh, well, in the old days, I was whatever I needed to be to survive, right? Right, of course, of course. <laughs> Interesting. So this is your day-to-day -day life here. It's amazing. So different. Uh, well, when I built this camp, it was all built from shit I scrounged up out of the desert. Right, right. So far away from anything and so useless. And... Right. So guys, that was amazing. Actually, like finding a random local sitting, sleeping in like a trailer next to the range. Really cool to talk to that guy. It's just so crazy to figure out the history about this place where they actually scavenged all random things around the desert to make this place actually happen. So all these random couches, all of this, they actually were just homeless people who put it together. And now ever since the government found out about this place due to the tourist attraction, all of that, this place has actually become more a government property before they didn't know about it. And now ever since all of that, the range is actually going to have a huge show tonight. That's, he, that's what he was telling me. Yeah, we will, we're, we're actually going to go grab some food right now and come back for the show. I can't wait to actually do a huge show with the locals of Slab City. Wow, guys, I am so excited to say that we are actually at a Slab City show tonight. <laughs> This is 
are all amazing. Just see this live show from Slab City. Having people have live music all right here. Such a new experience. It's like I got to take it all in. Welcome you to the Yeah, Bill.